Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5 of Satisfactory. Would you look at that? How beautiful is this? All the pollution, all the concrete, all the trees that have disappeared, as you may have noticed over here and down there, there was a bunch of trees and I took them all down because I needed more biofuel. So what we're going to check out right now is our production because between episodes I have been AFKing for a bit and I have been refueling these generators and apart from that just waiting not for a crazy amount of time but for some at least so I would imagine that we should have some uh, some production of what did we automate the reinforced iron plates I guess so if we go up here and take a look at that oh uh, that's right I can't go between there so I have to get up cross over it so all of this has been running I believe and yeah look at that there's 230 reinforced iron plates that is decent but I actually think that's not even enough so let's see what do we need 75 oh that's way more than we need okay and then 50 rotors so I guess we can first thing for today we can just unlock that and I'll just grab 50 rotors real quick and figure out how to make them Hang on. rotors yeah rods and screws so that's just some manual crafting and with that we can actually unlock the next tier on the space elevator and with that we will be able to make our first set of coal production coal power production so I'm looking forward to that so give me a minute and I'll figure that out so there we go that was quick and painless especially because we had a bunch of screws lying around in the machines so I could just grab those so let's see 75 reinforced iron plates and 50 rotors now let's seal this like so Oh, that's really loud on my ears. And now, uh, send this. Now let's look at this. Boom! Off it goes. Awesome. So now we sent that off. Let's see if it worked. Yeah, so the next delivery is 150 motors and 500 modular frames. Sounds like a lot, but with automation that's not going to be too terrible actually. So now we can run over to the hub and check out the new recipes and the new hub upgrades we can do, or the milestones rather. It's not hub upgrades anymore hasn't been for a while so look at that now we have tier 1 the things we didn't unlock yet tier 2 but now also we have tier 3 and 4 and with tier 3 we can get the coal power which is what we're going to do now which is the scanner upgrade for coal and the coal generator and then also vehicles and stuff which we don't need yet and then the better conveyor belts which gives us conveyors mark 2 which will be twice as fast we will need those as well to improve our production upstairs but that's not too much of a priority as well and then for tier 4 we get steel production which looks like a lot of things and steel production mainly gives us the foundry and steel ingots and things you can make from those but also more importantly we get the miner mark 2 which is twice as fast as the miner mark 1 so eventually we of course want to replace every miner with those just to increase our productivity then we have improved melee combat for the xeno basher which is like the xeno zapper but more damage basically and also we get more inventory slots which is nice then we got logistics mark 3 with even better conveyors 270 resources so it's twice as fast 
as the Mark II and then a bit more or as much as four and a half Mark I's and the conveyor lifts to go with it as well of course then we get bigger storage containers which I don't really fancy because yeah they're just twice as big and have twice as much, much capacity so you might as well just build two of the regular ones you know oh oh that's new so we get the Ah, that's for the quartz research. Okay, so we get the explorer vehicle. Fast and nimble exploration vehicle. Tuned for really rough terrain and can climb almost vertical surfaces. So that looks like something we definitely want to check out. Then we get quartz, the crystal oscillator, quartz crystals, and a map. Oh yes, I want the map. I so want the map. <clears throat> but for that we will have to definitely automate the modular frames and the rotors and things like that because that's going to be really annoying to craft and then also we get the explosives which is also something I definitely want to try out because with those you can as I mentioned before you can now blow up some uh, some rocks that are in, on the way in the way sorry not on the way and as I'm saying on the way in the way blowing up caves and stuff um, I actually remembered that I found a cave I think it was over here and I didn't check it out yet yeah there we go so we'll just go in there real quick and take a look it's probably gonna be pretty boring or not I mean, for now there's not a lot of things. Okay, uh, this is mycelia. That's actually pretty nice. Because you can also research that, and I believe you can get some decent things from it, but I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna pick up some of that. Then what else do we have? More mycelia, some mushrooms. Okay, yeah, that's one of those spooky talking things. I'm not gonna pick that up. As I said, because it says work in progress and I don't really want to crash my game or anything. So, apart from that, actually, there's not a lot in here, I guess. Then we got the exit. Where do we get here? I have no clue where I am. There's nuts. Iron impure, two nodes. And iron over there. Oh. Oh, yeah, I know where we are. Of course. Yeah, we just went below this mountain. And this is where we picked up the power slug. And over there is where we spawned, so we just, yeah, took a bit of a detour going back to our base. That was probably not the most interesting thing to see, but at least we checked out a cave. Yeah, look at that. Now we're up here and have a nice view of our base. So that's something, I guess. So, ooh, no. Ouch. Yeah, that was not the best of ideas. So I'll just chuck this uh, mycelia into the research MAM thing real quick. And then we'll get to work on the coal hub upgrade. Sorry, not hub upgrade, milestone. Keep saying that. So now we want the coal power and want to select that. Chuck. Ah, Paleberry, okay. Incoming message. Periodictia bread berries or pale berries can be added to the object scanner catalog after unlocking the new blueprint in hub tier one. Yeah, never really used the uh, that thing, I guess. But now I can scan the mycelia, so we'll just do that, and I'll get to work on gathering those things we see up there. So this milestone kindly reminded me that I definitely need to improve my copper wire production and especially automate cables 
because right now as you can see there's just, just that one smelter and one producer making copper wires which gives us more than enough copper wires for now but no cables so I had to actually manually craft all of those cables and that's starting to get on my nerves so I will automate that but for now we could just do this and get coal power milestone reached long range transportation as well as the construction of outposts is now encouraged an increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated yeah more efficient and can be automated that's exactly why we are going for it right so yeah, let me think for a second. So I want to set up a miner, Mark 1, for now. And then with the one conveyor I can only get out 60, so that's enough for 5 coal generators. So I want to set up 5 coal generators. So I'll need all of those things. Yeah, I'm just gonna manually craft these as well and after that we definitely need to set up the wires and stuff but I want better power for that because right now actually this concrete production is not running because we were so close to our maximum I mean at a point we were and this would actually tip it over and it killed my fuse twice so I don't want to do that anymore really and I just want to have the coal production and this is going to give us 250 megawatts of power as opposed to 160 we have right now and that's going to be easily doubled and tripled in the future so yeah that's going to be decent I guess so just let me grab some materials real quick and then I'll be back okay so as you can see I grabbed all the materials we need and now we can just go ahead and scan for coal There's some over there, 600 meters, and over there, 700. Now, I know about all three of these, and I have used all three of these, and I can tell from experience that this one is the easiest. So we'll just go there, not get poisoned by that, and check it out. Because this one over there is nice, but it's on top of a hill, like on top of a really tall hill, like that snail over there. It's slug rather and yeah I don't really want to be building up there yet this by the way was a forest I cut that down I don't know if I did it on screen or between between cuts you know this is where I get that biomass as well and now the coal should be somewhere over here I'll scan again yeah over there so I believe, yeah, this slug, we should actually be able to get that. Hang on, just give me a second. Yeah, easy peasy. Green power slug. There's more coal actually in that direction. I don't know about that one. But yeah, this coal should be fairly easy to access. Okay, so should have gone down here. There's a bunch of mobs here. That reminds me, I didn't actually eat. Oh, that's that one's dead, okay. Remember how I jumped down that wall? I didn't eat after that. So, yeah. Maybe I should do that right now. Actually, do I have anything to eat on me? I, oh, I do. Okay, so the coal is over there actually, that black, black thing over there, that's some coal. So to get over there, I'll have to build a bit of a path, and I'll just build that temporarily for now, just so we can get across, and then I'll figure out how to properly make it later. And good thing I ate because there's gonna be yeah, there's gonna be monsters here. 
Oh. Don't stand too close to the edge. These are actually pretty tough. I don't like fighting them. Because, as far as I found out so far, there's not a lot you can do to avoid their attacks, you know. You'll just get hit anyway. So yeah, this is some coal, and as you can see, it's pure coal. So, the miners on this are going to be twice as efficient, and a Mark 1 miner is already going to produce 120 coal from that. So that's really good, actually. And I forgot to bring power, didn't I? Yeah, so we'll just set up some things and and see what happens. Did I hear a monster? I think I did. And yeah, there's a slug. I saw that, but I'm not going to bother. Not right now. So we'll have to lay some foundations. So what I didn't do last time, but which I saw on some other channel actually, and which sounds like a really good idea to me, is to just build the power production with the coal right over here. So just plonk down a bunch of foundations out here. Oh, actually there's more monsters back there. I should probably go and kill them. Yeah, I'll do that real quick. Just take those out. Because actually there's this guy. And I don't think we saw those flies ever before on screen. So yeah, let me eat those berries real quick. I think I have more food at my base, but anyway. So this will just, when you get close, burst into a couple of these flies. They're not too hard to fight, but with this weapon they're pretty annoying. Because you need actually two hits to kill them. Yeah, and I'm not doing the best job. Oh god. <laughs> actually I'm getting pretty hard here. Yeah, so now it's down, finally. And we can just pick up a piece of loot and I guess we unlock this, which I don't want anyway. So yeah, not the best of deals. This is iron. Not interesting either. So anyway, where was I? So we're gonna set up the miner on here, like so. And then on this, we'll have a bunch of foundations. And on here, we'll make the actual coal production, or rather the power production. And the coal power stations are pretty big, so I guess I'm gonna need a lot of space. And I'll use these two, yeah. Then I'll need, I think, four in each direction. Oh, and I can't build there, actually. That's a shame. Why can't I build there? Usually it doesn't really bother about colliding with rocks and stuff. But anyway, so... The coal generator. I'll have to turn it like this, and then, yeah, it needs two spaces, so I'm just going to plonk it down like that. Then it's going to be overhanging a slight bit back here, but I don't care too much. And now this is one coal generator, so to get a decent amount of power we'll at least need five of those for now. And as I said, we can always extend that to a couple more in the future. Careful to not fall off the edge. 
because usually if you die you can get your items back but if you fall off this edge I don't think you can so if I actually put it right next to that yeah look at that I can actually I will do that I'll save some space and actually go ahead and put two of these on three on three foundations so one like so then the next one like so so that's gonna save me a bit of space and now like so and this one those big things are actually hard to place like this maybe and then we need more foundations you always underestimate how much space you need in this game it's really crazy and I hope actually that this overhang won't collide with the generator now it doesn't okay it's so just to continue the pattern I'll place it like so now we have five coal generators I'll quickly set up the uh, the conveyors for that and so I'll just use yeah the middle of this will do now for looks I'll just use a splitter back here even though there's nothing to split and this will just go straight in like this but, you know, it looks nicer. And also, we don't really have to be super space efficient back here. So I don't really care too much. Now for the power lines. I would like to put a power pole on this edge. Then the next one maybe on this edge. Yeah, that's probably okay. So these are not going to be symmetrical really, but it doesn't matter too much. And now connect that up, like so, like so, yeah, and basically, you know, get all of them interconnected. Now this connection would go back to our central place. The issue is of course now we don't have power here, the miner isn't running because it doesn't have power and those aren't generating power because they don't have coal. So in theory it should be possible for us to just manually mine some of the coal, like maybe yeah, I don't know, 20 something. Just throw that in here. Yeah, and now it fires up, and with the energy this is generating, we can actually run the miner. So the miner will now make coal. Yeah, look at that, and the coal will run into this generator again, refueling it. So before the manually mined coal comes even close to running out, this will be refueled. and also some of the coal will go in here. So I didn't explain the math to you yet behind me building five of these. Look, um, this says 50 megawatts, okay, and now it says 5.4 seconds. So this will take 5.4 seconds to go through one piece of coal. So I rounded that up to six seconds um, no, actually I rounded that down to... Hang on, how did I round that? I don't even know. So basically my idea was that this will produce... This will produce 
120 per minute, but now it's just producing 60 right now. So 60 coal divided by 5, yeah, exactly. So this is producing 1 coal in 1 second. And if this uses 5.4 seconds to burn it, then you can actually fuel 5.4 generators from that miner. But of course you can't build 0.4 generators, so I just set up 5 and there's going to be some excess coal, but that's not a problem at all. So now I'll just leave this as a temporary path over here and just go ahead and connect this over to our base. And with that we'll have some nice coal power back at base and we can actually take down the biomass burners. Nice! So I decided for the rest of this episode we would just get the Logistics Mark II upgrade, which we now have. Milestone reached. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. More verticality, yeah. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're pretty soon probably going to build a second floor on top of this um, to make sure that yeah, we can optimize our production. But what we unlock now, what's the most important thing, is the stackable conveyor pole. Oh yeah. I forgot about that actually. That's a nice thing. So just to demonstrate that, you can now build this conveyor pole like so and then you can build another one on top and then even more. And to each of these you can attach a conveyor belt. So that's gonna make uh, some of this organization a lot easier. Even though right now we don't really need it yet. But it's gonna come guys, it's gonna come. And also we got the conveyor belt Mark II, which is the important thing right now. They cost reinforced iron plates, so they're pretty expensive. But anyway, that's not too much of an issue because we are making those and we don't need a crazy amount of them. Of the conveyors, that is. So now we can deconstruct these. Because remember, those are making more screws than these machines or these conveyors can actually handle and this one wants 120 screws per minute and this can only deliver 60 right now and this is producing 90 so we need one full thing of these and then also a third of another which is pretty convenient because we can actually do that pretty straight away Whoopsie. Kill that foundation. Luckily there's no physics in this game, so that's not a problem. So yeah, I'm just gonna demonstrate to you what I mean by that, and then show it to you. Okay, so actually this took me longer than it should have, but now it's finally running, so this is definitely a mess of conveyors. But let me walk through them and explain them to you. So this is basically the entire uh, iron plate thing that we saw already and now this is of course completely backed up because yeah we have so many iron plates in there but it should in theory be the exact amount that we need to, uh, to use in here. Now the iron plates same as before now for the screws you can see they're moving really quickly if they move and that's due to the fact that these are Mark II conveyors now. And most of this is relatively straightforward. So for example this belt will just take the 90 screws this makes and just convey them into here. And this is a merger and its output... Hang on, this is crazy. Its output will go into here. So that's just 90 going straight through here into there. But then we have not enough screws because this only makes 90 we need 120 so we also got this line which is a normal mark 1 conveyor because that's perfectly enough and this constructor here is also making screws and these are split into three and so one of these outputs goes into there as well also into here and into there so all of them get 30 from here it's totaling up to 120 now this also gets a conveyor of screws 
a Mac 2 conveyor from over there. So this also gets its full 120 screws and for this it was a bit more tricky because you needed to cross over the other conveyors and that's why I did this and just used the new elevators. This is a Mark II conveyor elevator as well and the elevator will just pipe the screws down here and into there and this way this will also fill up with screws. So now you can see the efficiency went up and I think it will always stay a bit wonky like that and not actually go to 100% but you can see that it's perfectly full of input items now and it's got all the things it needs. So yeah it's gonna go slowly up and actually this is running at 100% efficiency now. So now our production went from one quarter of its efficiency to full efficiency and that's really nice because now we're actually making 15 of these reinforced iron plates per minute as opposed to yeah I guess it was like five before maybe a third of the production I'm not sure at least now it's running at full capacity and that's a nice thing so this is gonna fill up pretty quickly and I can actually store away some of them as well so yeah this is nice and this of course is going to be used next to make modular frames from them because these are one of the ingredients and we'll still have some to spare for storage and for our personal needs like making these conveyors but that's gonna be something we'll be doing in the next episode so I'm gonna wrap this one up thanks a lot for watching and if you liked it then make sure to check back for the next episode and yeah see you then bye